Hi, this is Bob, the old ham. Been playing around here with a little Raspberry Pi computer. And uh, I finally got it working today. And I had a few problems, so I thought I would just videotape that and put it here on YouTube so that, uh, so that you folks could see what I ran into and uh, perhaps save uh, some of you guys out there some problems with these units. A uh, couple of things I ran into. First of all, when I put the Noobs chip in, and by the way, Noobs stands for New Out of the Box Software. This came with the Noobs chip and a HDMI cord and a Wi-Fi adapter uh, came with it also. So uh, I added my own uh, mouse, which is just an old mouse I had here, USB mouse, and I have added a uh, this is one of those flexible uh, keypads that you can roll up. I added that and, got, and started working on it. First thing is I couldn't get it to boot up at all. And uh, I finally got to playing with the, uh, with the uh, Noobs chip, which is on a microchip. And I put it in and out like 20 times because I know from past experience that I've had trouble with connectors. They get the tiniest bit of dust on them or dirt, and you, they don't make connection. So I did that, and all of a sudden it started working. Uh-huh. Got a dirty connector there for the microchip on the Raspberry Pi. So then I got everything all set up. I couldn't get the Wi-Fi adapter to work. It wouldn't light up or anything. And so I got to cleaning those connectors again and checking that out I got in there with a magnifying glass a high-powered one and I could see little bits of dust and dirt on the pin connectors I also had purchased a new HDMI cable because the the uh, the uh, monitor here which is a TV set on HDMI it wouldn't work either so all my problems here seem to be centered around loose connections so this had caused me some trouble I've got it set up here on the weather channel as you can see here on the uh, on the monitor screen this is a a Vizio uh, 27 inch uh, TV with HDMI input so anyhow I got that all taken care of so this is the thing I ran into was these connectors so uh, what I'm doing here I haven't I haven't done it yet believe it or not but I have cut a piece of thin corrugated cardboard and I'm going to put some deoxit on that and I'm going to slip it into these connectors here and just gently move it in and out let's see right in there and I can feel a little resistance which tells me that the connector pins are rubbing on it and I'm going to clean those pins evidently these had gotten some dust in them from the manufacturing process this was all sealed up and was a brand new unit another thing that I ran into I contacted the uh, Raspberry Pi company by email. They did not answer my emails, which was rather upsetting. Uh, I really think that a company needs to look out for their customers and at least answer their emails uh, and say something anyways, but there was no reply to my emails, so I was very disappointed about that. I know that they got thousands of customers out there. Well, maybe they've got thousands of problems because of these dirty connectors maybe that's part of it I had purchased a new HDMI cable to see I thought that was the problem when the TV didn't come on and I found out no that wasn't it so uh, anyhow by pushing those in and out about 25 times I got them to work and uh, like I say I intend to put a little deoxit on the end of that uh, piece of cardboard and slip it in there I've also got some CRC uh, contact cleaner here which I think is very very good and I I'm going to use some of that to make sure those are really clean in there so uh, that's the problems that I ran into another problem I had was in the password when you have to sign in I uh, I, I went to sign in and I kept typing in raspberry return and then pi return and it kept saying incorrect password and I couldn't sign in I tell you I spent a whole evening on that before I found out that it was not Raspberry Pi, it's Pi Raspberry. I typed in Pi and then Raspberry once just fooling around and it logged me in and everything worked. And after you get to that point, then you type in Start X 
and up comes your desktop screen with your GUI, which is the user interface. So I just thought it would be nice to pass on these problems I had with these connectors and things and let you guys know uh, what I ran into. It might save some of you guys some problems with your Raspberry Pi. So that's it everybody, 73's and good DX.